And when the temperature dips and pavement gets slippery, we throw down salt to melt the ice away. From there, a chemical reaction occurs we often don't quite understand, but we trust it. Here's how it works. It's the time of year when freezing rain could force you into a penguin walk. And that means it's time for a big bag of science. Ice disintegrator, ice no more, pellets of fire. It's salt, it's pretty much just salt. So how does salt melt ice? What happens when these cloudy pellets hit frozen liquid? The salt will dissolve into sodium chloride. And sodium chloride not only melts ice, it prevents liquid from turning into ice so long as it's above 15 degrees. But Jeff, we live in Minnesota and western Wisconsin where it often gets below 15 degrees. What then? I'm glad you asked. It's time to mix in some other chemicals with the salt. Magnesium chloride works at 10 below, and calcium chloride works all the way at 20 below. The product that we're using has a mix of calcium chloride. Another thing to remember is that salt will slowly lose its effectiveness. As it melts the ice, it starts to get diluted, so you'll need to add more over time to continue melting the ice. If getting traction is your immediate goal, go with kitty litter or sand. Those can help you with grip, but they are not melting agents. I wonder if there's cool names for kitty litter like <laughs> this salt. <laughs> Jeez, those names are funny. Uh, and just a reminder, too, spreading the salt out versus having those huge clumps, that's also going to make it more effective. Yeah, a lot of times you end up kicking it around a yeah, little bit to try to spread it too. out when it comes down like that.